So Sanctifier isn't actually the problem. Make sure you guys smash the ever-living crap out of that subscribe button so you do not miss out on more awesome content. This is insane to be looking at here. So Master Duel, as I was getting ready to uh, take, take a nap and get some sleep for the night here, uh, Master Duel said, hey, we're going to release a new list. Now, the only reason why we're filming this is we just had that Sanctifier discussion literally this morning with everybody being like, Ugh, you know, like, you know, out Sanctifier needs to go. It's broken. And just 12 hours later here on Master Duel, they announced Ido is going to remember. Ido, literally, you can't smash someone while this thing is parked on your field. All right, which, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. And then uh, you guys remember Gimmick Puppet, right? Like the, the soft lock enablers. Yeah, both of these cards do the same thing. They both include a detrimental effect that says, you cannot spouse summon. Now, you remove these from the equation, you do still have the Raw's Disciple, which was the original, original thing that people were attempting to do here, but it is crazy to think about out here that not even hours later, we look at this and we're like, this is... This is Konami's response to Master Duel. And I mean, to be fair, this is, I guess, for the long-term health and application of, you know, looking at Sanctifier. Like, and, and I mentioned in the other video, you cannot, and I repeat, you cannot go after Sanctifier because of the lore implications that the card is providing. Konami wants people to be able to stick around and be able to play the Fallen of Albaz stuff, all right? Like, and I, I cannot stress this enough. So to see that we just dodged underneath the Sanctifier and we went after the two problematic cards, and once again, I Raw's Disciple will be a card that will be looked at by a few people that will be explored for sure. But yeah, getting rid of these two cards, I, I think is fine. It is, it is good though that like at least they were willing to go after the gimmick puppet and then go the one step under to get to the Ido. That way we don't have to actually deal with these either. So I'm, I'm gonna clap for it. I'm happy to see that Konami is willing to take steps to actually better Master Duel. Now, once again, this brings those little implications to the TCG. Like I said, the fact, you know, they're bringing Heavy Storm back, and then, you know, maybe it might not be this list that we see this. Hopefully it is this list, though. Like, if this is, if these are the bands that we're getting here, just to leave Sanctifier alone, okay. Now your unlimits here. Uh, Trishula moving to from two to three. Uh, the only reason why Trishula was even locked up at all in the lowest dungeon was just because of there were some synchro loop decks that you could go through three Trishulas in a turn. We have long since lost any sort of consistency that gave you the chance to poop out these monsters for that level of consistency. So that's a pretty major thing to be thinking about here is, you know, Trishul is back at full steam. Honestly, I can't think of any real interactions that are gonna break this card anytime soon. It's it's okay at best. Uh, Infernity Launcher, you know, the TCG is the only one that still has Launcher at one. And I, I think the reason for this is the TCG is just so scared of what Infernity can do. Um, we did have to deal with some really stupid combo stuff, but the game has become so hand trap oriented at this point that looking at the launcher and being like, hey, you know, we're, we're scared of this. I, I don't think that's the case. I, I think wholeheartedly that we can bring launcher back to three and just see what they can do. All right, there's nothing wrong at this point in time with, yeah, it is an extremely old heavy combo deck. Yes, there is a lot of BS that is insinuated with this card. I get it. But I think you would get those creative brains going again with that old creative juice. And that would be a good thing, honestly. Now, this is, this is important to me. Master Duel now has triple 
And I repeat, we have triple the Vine Arsenal Zeus. I did not think that they would do this, but this means that you now can play Full Zodiac, Going Second, Sky Striker, Eagle Booster the deck. We are an expert in the technology of this deck on this channel, and I love Zeus Turbo. And now you can do so even more ignorantly. You just slam that Going Second button, Main Deck Dark Rulers, Main Deck Droplets, I honestly, I'm not going to say that this feels like the the first real going second deck that Master Duel has had, but I guarantee you, people are going to look at this and they're going to be like, oh, this is something that we have to deal with. Why, yes, yes it is. And I guarantee you, a lot of people are going to start playing this for fun, by the way. Yes, you also have to craft Triple Zeus, because this is a UR. That is a little bit of a problem, in my opinion, but... I'm happy about this. Uh, Sekka's Life, this is also a big one. Uh, can we have this back to three in the TCG too? Like, honestly, I, I love this card. I, I think that this card is bonkers. Like, not only did you get the free draw too, it gives you the ability to banish it to shuffle back a resource to draw a card. Like, Sekka's Light is nuts to the people that haven't actually, you know, had the full chance to kind of play this deck or play deck with Sekka's Light. It is such a fun resource. Please, this actually opens up a lot more creativity than you would think. We really do need to bring this card back. There's so many little niche things that Konami needs to do for the TCG. Like, moving the Sekka's Light, I, I think, would be a good start. And then the wagon moving back to three. I'm pretty sure that this was just collateral damage from the super heavy stuff initially making its landing an impact on the game. Like, let's call it what it is. Like, the super heavy stuff, I, I can't believe those cards got past R&D in terms of, you know, the craziness that they kind of felt like they brought. Now, overall thoughts on this list, um, it might not look like a lot, but this is very telling for the TCG um, that they are acknowledging Sanctifier problem cards and not Sanctifier itself. Uh, the fact that Zeus is moving to three is absolutely insane, in my opinion. And um, I'm hoping that the TCG will recognize Sekka's Light can come back to three, and we can test out some of those heavy monsterish builds out here just to see what we can actually do. So what do you guys think? Please, leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and I will see your beautiful faces back here in day, guys. Patrons! Thank you! Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.